This is the Nord Bremse air dry unit type LTZ015. The important parts of the unit are as follows. Reservoir A and Reservoir B Desiccant Oil separator bowls with rustic rings. Duplex piston valve. Valve magnet Pre-control valve piston Check well. Air inlet port from the compressor and air outlet port to the main reservoir. Let us now explain the working of the unit. The air dry unit has two operating cycles, cycle 1 and cycle 2. Cycle 1 lasts for 2 minutes. Cycle 2 also lasts for 2 minutes. In cycle 1, tower A is in drying phase and tower B is in regeneration phase. And in cycle 2, tower B is in drying phase and tower A is in regeneration phase. As the compressor is switched on, The valve magnet is energized by the electric input signal coming from the cycle timer. The valve seat V3 is opened. Through the inlet port P1, the cooled and the pre-drained air from the compressor flows and opening the valve seat flows to the tower A. Before the air enters the desiccant in tower A, it is first carried through the rustic ring fillings in the oil separator of tower A. Here, the air swirls. and makes multiple deflections. As a result, minute particles of oil and water that are still suspended in the compressed air get 
precipitated on the large surfaces of the rustic rings. These particles of oil and water then gather to form larger drops which fall into the collecting chamber. The compressed air then passes through tower A from bottom to top. As the compressed air passes through the desiccant in tower A, it gives off so much of its moisture that its relative humidity on leaving tower A is less than 35%. Some of this dried air then branches off through the regeneration choke and passes through the desiccant in the tower B in the opposite direction. As this expanded air also known as regeneration air, passes through the desiccant in tower B. It extracts moisture from the desiccant and passes via the open valve seat V8 into the silencer and finally escapes into the atmosphere. Then, the compressed air branched off from the air pipe to the air outlet port P2 flows through the open valve seats V2 and V3 to the duplex piston valve. To work correctly, the unit requires a certain shuttling pressure at which the pre-control valve opens. and the piston valve can shuttle. The bypass valve ensures that this pressure builds up quickly in the system. It only opens the path to the main reservoir after the shuttling pressure has been exceeded. This function prevents the desiccant in the tower B from being oversaturated during prolonged filling processes. Subsequently, the air is now redirected back down through the central tube, going through the check valve, then the bypass valve, and finally the air exits through the outlet port P2. Thus, this air dry unit is in its operating state in which Tower A is in its drying phase and Tower B is in its regeneration phase. In cycle 2, the air stream is dried in Tower B, that is, Tower B is in drying phase and the desiccant is regenerated in Tower A, that is, Tower A is in regeneration phase. After two minutes, the desiccant of Tower B reaches its saturation limit and the unit switches over by the electronic cycle timer. This means that the valve magnet is de-energized. Then the valve seat is closed and the valve seat V4 opens. The control line to the duplex piston valve is vented.
As a result, the pistons are pushed by the spring forces to the top and bottom positions respectively. This action closes the valve seats V5 and V8 and opens the valve seat V6 and V7. The air flows from P1 and enters the desiccant in Tower B. It first enters the rastic ring filling in the oil separator bowl of Tower B. Here, after swirling and making multiple deflections, The compressed air passes through the tower B from bottom to top. As this compressed air passes through the desiccant, it gives off so much of its moisture that its relative humidity is less than 35% on leaving tower B. As this compressed air now comes down from the central tube of Tower B, it branches off from the regeneration choke into the air pipe and enters the central tube of Tower A. As this air, also known as the regeneration air, passes through the desiccant in Tower A, it extracts moisture from the desiccant and expands. This expanded air then enters the air pipe passes through the open valve seat V6 and passes out into the atmosphere through the silencer. Thus, the 4-minute cycle of this air dryer is complete. The air dryer unit will continue to work like this as long as the compressor is on.